Welcome to the 1940s Gladiator Round Tournament. This is the very first matchup in these brackets. Steve Reeves takes on Leo Robert. This is going to be a fairly good matchup, although I am pretty sure Leo is outmanned here. If you look at the quality of Leo Robert's physique, man, he was a good little bodybuilder. Size of those arms? Very, very short man, though, and that can hurt him in this. Steve Reeves, just a big, massive man beside him. And of course, when all things are equal, bigger is better when it comes to bodybuilding. Aside from that, though, look at Steve's big pectoral region. He definitely has a, a superior chest development between these two athletes. one nothing for Reeves. Good old Steven picks up another point here. Pretty easy, in my opinion. Leo is much smaller, and even if that wasn't the case, I, I still say Steve... Look at his silhouette. What an incredible bodybuilder. Very aesthetic. And for the time, probably quite muscular as well. Two to nothing for Reeves. And here we have the side chest pose. Now, you may take note, these are not all competition pitchers. And I'm usually quite a stickler on that. But it is the 1940s, and it would be darn near impossible to put this entire tournament together without using at least some photo shoot pictures. But I'm sure they're not doctored up in any way. And once again here, Steve is just too big for poor little Leo to catch up to him in any of the poses I can imagine. And besides that, look at the chest on Steve, probably scoring an advantage on that aspect. Big thick peck for the time now, for the time compared to uh, even the 70s athletes, and these guys are pretty small potatoes. Steve Reeves dominates this contest, and this will be our makeshift side tricep comparison, I guess. It's actually a pretty good one on the part of Leo. Not bad at all. He's almost scoring a victory here, but seems Reeves' conditioning is much better. Looks harder and grainier as well. Leo a little on the soft side, but man, he sure fills out this side tricep. If I was going to give him any pose, it would be this one. But I'm looking at how many poses are left, and there's just no way Leo can catch up. So I might as well, I could give him a gift and give him this one, but it's not even really a mandatory pose. Either way, Steve Reeves has this one in the bag. And we'll wrap things up with this rear double bicep. I guess a makeshift rear double bicep on the part of Leo Robert. But like I said, this competition was, I'll be honest with you, was pretty much a setup for Steve Reeves to advance on. He is the top seed in this tournament. So uh, I'm guilty of perhaps putting the stronger guys with the weaker ones in the first round. But that ensures better matches as this tournament increases. And without a doubt, you see this comparison here. Look at Steven's back. Fantastic. He could go all the way in this tournament. And much like we all predicted, Steven Reeves advances on. And he will face the winner of our next match. Jack Dillinger versus Juan Ferrero. Should be a pretty competitive little matchup. So this tournament, it's not everybody's cup of tea, like I mentioned before. These older matches... But they're right up my alley. I love these older physiques. They're fantastic. But that's just my personal preference. But I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that like these older comparisons as well. So look forward to the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good day.